Greetings, all! Today, we will be examining the common Grass-type Pokémon Bound Sweet, its uncommon evolution Steenie, and its rare final evolution Zarina, collectively known as the Fruit Pokémon. Though they might not be the fittest of fighters until they manage to reach adulthood, the members of the Bound Sweet family are interesting creatures that can both make good friends to play with and powerful fighters to contend with if raised properly. Bound Sweet possess small, round, purple-colored bodies with a fairly large mouth and yellow eyes, only being able to move around on account of a pair of tiny purple legs on their underside. Their lower form is covered by a thin layer of white flesh, while the tops of their form are covered by a green four-leaf calyx with a green stem in the center, giving them the appearance of a living piece of fruit, which they technically are. Their evolved form, Steenie, maintain a similar form to their calyx with a few yellow spots on their sepals, but two of the sepals are reduced in size and the rest of their form has changed drastically, developing a pair of long, thin white arms without digits, while their legs have grown noticeably into thin appendages perfect for rapid locomotion. Their lower form is still covered with a layer of thick white flesh, though now the white structures are much larger and form a skirt-like bulb at their hip area, while their torso has developed noticeably and is covered by a series of mauve fringes. They now have a discernible head as well, with a white face, large mouth, and bright purple-colored eyes, with small markings like eyebrows on the outer upper corners of each eye. Their final evolution, Zarina, have a very similar body form as Steeny, but their legs are much, much longer now, and have a series of fringed outgrowths near the base of their thighs that give them the appearance of wearing knee-high boots. Their hips are still fairly large, with thick, white, fleshy extensions, but their eyes have noticeable eyelids with eyelash-like extensions that give them a very sultry look. Their calyx sepals have grown immensely in size, reaching down almost to the ground, with a series of yellow blob patterns on the inside of three of them, the fourth one directly near their face, being much smaller and curled upward so as not to obscure their face, and they have a crown-like topper in the center of the calyx that grants them a very regal appearance. The members of the Bound Sweet family are interesting plants that end up undergoing a fairly radical transformation in their form as they grow and develop, and their powers and capabilities change in accordance to build them from a weak nuisance to a potentially devastating threat by the end of it all. These creatures start off very much being little more than fruit that has developed a form of sentience and are unable to do much with their small bodies, leaving them fairly helpless as a whole. They can spin the calyx on the top of their head to try and ward off potential predators, but this is about the most that they can do, and it rarely ever has much of an effect on others. Thankfully, as they grow and develop, these creatures can acquire limbs that allow them to deal at least some damage in close quarters and make themselves a bit more of a threat, though it is not until they evolve into the final stage of evolution that their physical strength becomes a noteworthy threat to others. These creatures are different from most plant Pokémon in that they prefer to specialize in physical attacks over special ones, and while this can make them a bit harder to work with in some cases, it also opens the door to many other combat possibilities that help to make them much more dangerous than many other noteworthy grass-type offenders. This family is also a bit unique in that it is completely female in sex, with no males known to exist. This is mainly because these plants are able to self-pollinate in the wild, and thus possess all the necessary internal structures to reproduce, and in turn, can only ever make more of their kind when bred. Because of their indifference to the sex of others, as a consequence of this factor, as well as their natural plant-based powers, these creatures, at least in their early life, can possess Leaf Guard and Oblivious as base abilities, while those that give off an unusually strong aroma compared to others of their kind are able to possess the Sweet Veil ability as a hidden ability. It is noted, however, that their final evolution, Zarina, lack access to the Oblivious ability. Instead, the intimidating and regal appearance that they possess is so overpowering in some cases that it can keep opponents from moving more rapidly than they could, being captivated so much by the look that they become unable to use priority moves, granting these plants their signature Queenly Majesty ability. In terms of stats, in the case of Zarina, because of their plant-based nature and their focus on physical offenses over special ones, these creatures do not have a lot of stamina to work with and are unable to make use of the few special attacks they can get access to, so their base HP and special attack stats are below average for a fully evolved grass-type Pokémon. On the other hand though, their hardened sepals grant them a significant amount of resilience against attack in any form. Their speed is fairly strong for a Pokémon of their type, and they are able to hit with considerable physical force thanks to their powerful legs, so their base attack, defense, special defense, and speed stats are above average for a fully evolved Pokémon of their type. As such, while they might look incredibly beautiful and even arousing to some, these are definitely not plants that you want to end up on the business end of, lest their powerful kicking ends up driving you away in pain and humiliation after a close encounter with one. Bound Sweet are often made the target of attacks by other Pokémon, as their predators are readily lured in by the delicious, sweet aroma that their bodies naturally produce. 
Well, this can definitely make Bound Sweet nice air fresheners. At the same time, it makes them a target for predator bird Pokemon that enjoy feasting on the fruit. And it has been observed that Pokemon like Toucanon might go up and simply swallow these creatures whole without a second thought because of how enticing the aroma is. This would be a problem for these creatures if they were intelligent enough to care. They are not, however, and thus tend to live in extreme bliss at all times, even if they might be in imminent danger. Even in cases where they are aware that they are in danger, the most these creatures can do most of the time at a young age is spin the sepals on their heads in a rapid spin attack, and the weak physical strength makes this a pointless move in many cases. Plus, they can become extremely dizzy if they do this for too long. Furthermore, even if they can escape the grasp of an initial predator and escape, their tiny legs make it almost impossible for them to do much more than hop to get around, and the adorable appearance they have while doing so makes it hard for others to do much other than smile, unaware that the Bound Sweet in question is in distress. Bound Sweet are further the target of attack thanks in part to the sugary liquid that fills the inside of their body. While this liquid is far, far too sugar concentrated to be edible to humans normally, it can be heavily diluted to make a fruit drink that is very popular in the Alola region where they natively dwell, so even humans can be counted among their predators. The only thing that really keeps these creatures safe in the wild is the fact that they tend to be born in fairly large groups and thus have numbers on their side, if only to ensure that at least a few per birthing group can survive long enough to evolve and begin the process of becoming a far more dangerous threat for others to contend with. When Bound Sweet manage to evolve into Steenie, their forms change drastically as they become much more humanoid in their stature, complete with arms and discernible legs that allow them to utilize moves that are otherwise inaccessible to their pre-evolved form. For one thing, the addition of arms on their body allows these creatures to gain immediate access to the double slap attack as soon as they evolve, and the lengthening of their legs allows them to eventually gain access to the stomp attack in place of the flail attack learned by Bound Sweet, something that will prove to be vital for them to have if they wish to reach an adult state. The aroma that their bodies give off also becomes much stronger, granting them the capacity to learn the Captivate and Aromatherapy techniques, and their connection to their plant-based form allows them late in life to learn the Leaf Storm attack, finally giving them access to some sort of powerful grass-type offense. Moreover, the sepals on the bodies of these creatures harden to an incredible degree in this state to protect their soft bodies from attack, so much so that they gleefully play with bird Pokémon as they are so hard that no amount of relentless pecking can readily penetrate them, in turn leaving Steenie with very few predators to actually fear. Steenie are incredibly energetic creatures and enjoy bouncing around freely for fun, frolicking in their native environments, and the energy of their movements can be so great that they can entice others to join in on them having a bit of fun. This can be a problem for others though, as they are somewhat careless in their actions and have been known to fling their hardened sepals into the air without care, oftentimes painfully smacking others in the face without caring too much about it. While this can make them a bit harder to control in the wild, and the rapid movements can make them harder to keep up with, shown in the shift in their EV yield from 1 in HP to 2 in speed, Steeny as a whole are quite fun to play with and can make themselves a decent threat towards smaller Pokémon though their stats can render them unprepared against stronger fighters in many cases until they can get the chance to finally grow out of the state of development and reach a more mature one. While Steeny are able to stay in their current state of evolution for some time and really as long as they wish, when they are able to finally master the stomp attack and use it as a vicious tool to batter down opponents, the adrenaline rush they get from it causes their growth hormones to go into overdrive in terms of production, helping to facilitate rapid and immediate evolution into their adult form, Zarina, bringing with it a massive boost in their overall power. In evolving, these creatures become even stronger fighters with impressive well-developed tissue on the inside of their legs that allow them to lift and strike with incredible force, as indicated by the shift in their EV yield from 2 in speed to 3 in attack, and so much so that they can get access to the powerful high jump kick and power whip attacks later in life. Moreover, they are able to mix the powerful floral fragrance they naturally exude with their kicking immediately after evolving to learn and use their signature Trop Kick attack, a mildly powerful blow that has the effect of lowering the opponent's attack stat every time it successfully connects. These plants are well known for their gorgeous appearance and are often used as mascots for beauty salon advertisements in the Alola region as a result of their long, shapely legs and highly feminine form, but this belittles the sadistic and cruel tendencies that they tend to show towards others in battle. These creatures have dominating personalities that show in their battle skills as they will mercilessly lash out at opponents in a fight, using their grand mastery of powerful kicking strikes to deal severe blows that can knock out human kickboxing champions in a single blow. This is compounded though by their aggressive personality as these creatures will gladly cackle in delight for every kick they manage to land on an opponent and will stomp on those they have defeated at the end of a fight, pinning them down and laughing boisterously at their pain. 
Though they will show respect and obedience to those that can earn their trust and prove themselves to be worthy of their power, these plants can otherwise be an extreme handful to deal with and have been known to lash out even at humans that get in their way or get on their bad side. Thankfully, those that can take advantage of this power can readily make these plants into severe threats, as the strong defenses and powerful physical offenses make them a dire threat in close quarters, and definitely a force that even armored opponents can have a hard time dealing with. Though they might not come off as the most dangerous of fighters at a young age, the members of the Balanced Weed family are still unique plants that, in time, can prove to be a severe nuisance that even the strongest of defenses might not be able to last very long against. It might take a little while to get past their initially weak offenses to get them to that point, but in the end, these are fruity creatures that can more than use their hard bodies and powerful limbs to wreak havoc against those that dare to challenge them to a fight. If you do come across some of these critters, do yourself a favor and try to play nice with them. They might not be able to do much in the way of harm at a young age, but if you get on the wrong side of an angry Tsarina, you might need more than a bit of dental insurance when they proceed to kick the life out of you before stomping you flat and laughing in your face at how foolish your actions ultimately were. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always an honor to be able to speak with you all on the subject of Pokemon in a way that brings me great joy and happiness in my work. If you would like to keep tabs on past and future work, click that subscribe button, check out my work on DeviantArt, and don't be shy about following me on Twitter, where you can find pertinent announcements on upcoming work before it is officially posted. Links to both can be found in the video description. If you would like to support my work and help Miguel and I continue to produce more content for you and improve upon our presentation, please visit us at my Patreon page, which you can also find a link to in the video description. Yeah, no. With that, I thank you for watching and I wish you well.